Hi guys, I'm Alex and welcome to my shave. Today is uh, March 12th, it's a Tuesday, and let me show you the razor that we're going to be using today in our shave. This is the Mula R41 made in Germany. It is a open comb. It uh, has a reputation of cutting a lot of people, but you've got to be very careful with it. Very, very, very well made. Inside of here, I've got a feather blade that I've used, I believe, seven times. I've used it seven times so far. Today will be the eighth time. And we're just going to see how far we can go with this thing. Anyway, that is it right there. This is the Mula R41 stainless steel, made in Germany. A uh, very popular, very popular razor. And so is that blade. Now, let me put that out of the way. We're going with the green Parasso today, guys. There it is. Let's open it up. I'm going to have to buy me a new one pretty soon. Eucalyptus and mint. Very, very nice. Make sure you got that in your cabinet because that's the one, boys. Okay. Now, for our pre-shave, which is going to be his little brother, the green one, pre-shave, same thing, eucalyptus and mint, excellent, excellent, excellent. That'll go in our pre-shave. And then we've got its little sister here, and that is going to be the Parasso aftershave. Again, eucalyptus and mint. We're going to smell like a eucalyptus tree. <laughs> I guess we'll be like little pandas. What do you call you call what do you call that bear? Koala bear. That's it. A koala bear. Anyway. And don't forget this little uh, Nivea, our little post shave. And tonight I feel like I don't want to stink, so I'm gonna use me some Gucci cologne. I like them apples. This is very good and very expensive. My wife bought it for me. Because I would never pay that kind of money for it. Anyway, and there's the feather blade that we'll be using tonight. Of course, the one that we're using is uh, will be the eighth time we're using it. And this one is made in Japan. Okay, we'll put that away. And let me show you what else we're going to use. We're using our badger brush. Uh, this is a real hair's brush, a badger animal walked around with this hair once and now it's stuck in this thing and now it's going to be walking all over my face. I like that. Okay, so that's that. I don't know the name of this, but this was like a, a $25 little badger I bought when I first started doing this wet shave stuff. And this is my little stainless steel insulated mug that I got at the thrift store. I love it. It's great. We're going to put that away. Get ready to show us how to use it and the bowl that we're using today is my little bowl and I've already got that's what I show you guys how much I put in there that's how much shaving cream I put in there and then our little pre-shave bowl I've already got it in there too and we're going to be using that so let's get this show on the road I'll be right back Okay, guys, here we are. I just smashed the uh, shaving cream in there. I'm going to get our brush. It's all been soaking in hot water. And we're going to just do the same idea. <clears throat> I'm going to let the brush get soaked. Now, the badger brush will hold more water than the uh, synthetic. So you want to make sure you get it all out. Just make sure it stops dripping. And I think that's about it for that one. It hasn't been soaking that long. But let's give it a try. And let's see what happens. I think it'll be fine. Yep, we'll put this away. And we're going to start making some lather here. Well, I'll tell you what I did. Well, first of all, let me get back to the weather. I'm like a weatherman up here. Uh, <laughs> uh, the weather is raining uh, off and on. It rained yesterday off and on. It rained again this morning off and on. Not a heavy rain, but just rain. And uh, weather's kind of nice, but then again, it changes that over cloud. So, uh, you know, cloudy. So, I don't know. I don't know. All kinds of stuff going on. Yesterday, or should I say, 
last night, I was kind of bored and I wanted to watch a movie. So I just decided, you know what? I thought about this movie a long time and I used to, re I really, I enjoyed it. It was an old movie. I think it was made in 1958 or 59. Glenn Ford and um, Jack Lemmon played in this movie. It's called Cowboy, where Jack Lemmon was a hotel. Uh, he worked in a hotel as like a little manager guy. And then uh, Glenn Ford was a big cattle guy. And he would uh, do cattle runs up and down the Chicago. And uh, he'd come in with his crew. And they take over the hotel, and then Jack Lemon. It's a long story, but Jack Lemon partnered up with him, and he wanted to be a cowboy, and he became. And then you, just, you see how he transformed from a, from a hotel guy, a city slicker, into a real cowboy. It was a pretty interesting show. If you guys get a chance, you can go on YouTube. It's called Cowboy with Glenn Ford and Jack Lemon. And you could just see it for free, but it does have ads on it. It's not a big deal. They don't last long, but it's a very nice show. It's about an hour and a half, not very long, but I think you guys enjoy it. It's a great cowboy movie. And I love cowboys and I love army movies. That's I don't want action movies like Rambo and uh, The Expendables. Well, this is coming out pretty nice. It looks a little light. Like we may have too much water in there, but it's still coming out okay. See that? But it looks a little lighter than normal. Like I said, the badger brush holds more uh, water. So maybe that's what it was, but I should have maybe put a little more soap in it, but I think it'll be fine. We got some hot water in there. It's looking good. Anyways, I enjoyed that movie. You guys get a chance. Check it out. Hey, Steven. I hope you checked out that album with uh, Gloria Estevan. I love that album. I put it on every time I set up my shaving thing here in the bathroom. That music is running as loud as, well, not real loud. But I got it on, and I'm dancing and putting the stuff together. You guys got to get a chance to go check it out. I love it. It's not, not that Miami Vice thing. It's a Spanish album. It's like rumba-type music. It's... Really, really good. I really enjoyed it. It's old-fashioned. It's back in the... I think that album was back in the 90s, if I'm not mistaken. But check it out. Let me know if you liked it, Stephen, if you even checked it out yet. But anybody out there, go check it out. Gloria Estevan. And uh, I got it in my old videos. I put it in there a couple, couple weeks ago back. Okay. It's a little light, but boy, look at that. Okay, guys, let me bring you up. Now let's get this show on the road. Okay, guys, we're back. Welcome back. I forgot to show you something. Forgot to show you my alum stone. So anybody out there wants the alum stone, make sure you buy one of these. You got to have it in your arsenal. In case you get a nick, you put it on there. It tightens up your skin, stops the bleeding. You don't have to call an ambulance. You'll be fine. Okay. Now let's put on our pre-shave. I got my pre-shave inside. I'm going to just wet my brush a little bit. And I'm just going to mix it up, give it a little bit of lubrication there, and let's put this thing on. Oh, I forgot again. Hang on, I got to change my glasses. I keep forgetting that. Because I'm going to close up that once I look far away, I can't see that. Here we go. Let's go. Pre-shave, wonderful thing. Just a little something extra to use the brush more to massage my face. I love it. Well, they had that hearing today. They had that Oriental guy, uh, I think his name is Her, H-U-R, that did the investigation on Biden. No problem with Biden. Biden's a good man. Don't worry about it. Everything's good. <laughs> they... Uh, I got a kick out of the Democrats. They're questioning him, and the man's answering them. I said, no, that's not true. No, that, no, no, I'm still talking. No, no, it's my time. <laughs> but the man said, that's not true what you just said. No, no, that's not. <laughs> doesn't matter. I'm talking. <laughs> it's my time. 
That's ridiculous. Okay, guys. My razor is soaking. My ladder is in the bowl. Look at that. And I don't know. It might be a little light, but let's give it a try. Oh, it feels a little wet. Yep, it's wet. Looks like I got too much on me. Hang on. I got to wipe it off my shirt. Look at that. Looks like a seagull just went by. I think so. Okay. Had that happen before, too, when I was fishing. Okay. That means I was blessed. At least that's a nice way of putting it. You got shit on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. This is nice, but it's a little light. It's not as heavy as I like it to be, but it'll be just fine. You gotta go with the, how's I go? Go with the flow, yeah, go with the flow. That's it. We're flowing right now. Now that we have the R41, we have to be a little careful, boys. This guy could be dangerous. Okay, let's start cutting some hair and stop fooling around. Yep. It's cutting, still cutting, still sharp. This will be the eighth shave with this blade. I know a lot of you guys that are starting out shaving, you go to Target, you buy what they got, and don't waste your time. Get on Amazon and order your, the, the Parasso products. You'll be much happier. And get yourself a decent razor. Thirty, forty bucks, and you'll be in business. And a pack of blades. And after that, you can buy whatever you like once you learn what you want and what you like. This thing is still cutting beautiful, my God. Okay, that's uno, number one. Now I'm going for number two, boys. Here we go, number two. I think I'm gonna watch me another movie tonight. I think I'll watch me another Western. I like Westerns, especially the Westerns like The Magnificent Seven. Those, are, that's a good one. Did you know that The Magnificent Seven was a, there was an Oriental movie called, uh, I believe, Seven Warriors or something like that. Back way back in the 30s and 40s they made it. And they, same idea, they helped the village. But these were samurai sword. Well, they used the same story and made it a western. It's great. Go see the one with the samurai, uh, the samurai warriors. That's a good one. I can't remember what they call that one. But anyways, let's cut across. Now I am just barely touching the surface of my face with this razor and I can feel it cutting the beard. I missed yesterday, I was supposed to cut yesterday, I was supposed to shave yesterday, cut yesterday, but I missed it, couldn't do it. So we're doing it today. Stephen told me, don't worry about it. If you miss a day, forget about it. It's not a big deal. So, I'll take your advice, Stephen. I forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like that attitude. Eh? Come see, come saw. It works, it works. Don't work, don't work. Okay, boys. 
That was dos. We're going for tres in a minute. Sounds Spanish, don't I? Not bad for a Hungarian guy. Mr. Steven, my compadre out there. Hope you're doing well out there in Texas. Hope your weather's good. Hope those fires died out. Gary up there in Canada. I know you got good weather up there. You keep telling me. God bless you, buddy. Uncle L out there in Australia. Do your thing. You always do. You're a good man. And almost lost my razor in the water again. <laughs> it's a thing now. Okay, here we go. We're going upstairs. Oh, this is so smooth. Unbelievable smooth. Okay, here we go. Upstairs. Wow. It's a close one. I don't care what anybody says. The open comb is much, uh, much more efficient. But you gotta be careful. I know I was cutting myself all over the place. I might still cut myself. Well, that's it, boys. That streak strikes and I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Okay, gang, I'm back. And let's wipe our face off. My face, not your face. <laughs> okay. Well, that was very nice shave. A really, really close shave. I don't care what anybody tells you. The R41 is a close cutting razor. And that feather blade, and I made a mistake on the feather blade. I thought it was... Uh, Apparently, this is the ninth shave with it because I put on the wrong side. I put, I put the the dots. Then I remembered I put extra dots on the back side. So actually, this was the ninth shave. Forget about this side. This is the side. I like that one. That's a good one. Okay, let me finish up here and get our aftershave on afterburners okay we're going with the parasso green there it is oh it's got a little burn that means I cut it pretty close well that feels good Okay, excellent stuff, guys. Can't go wrong with Parasso. It's not very expensive compared to some of the other things, but this is great stuff. It's been around forever, and the reason it has been, because it's good stuff. Okay, Mr. Nivea is coming. There we go. Mr. Nivea, don't be stingy with Nivea. And gift yourself a full facial. And don't forget those ears. And do the neck too. And I, I say nothing about nobody's neck. But I mean, you know who that is. But I'm not saying it. Okay. Be quiet, Alex. Don't say it no more. Might hurt his feelings. Okay. So that's it. Our shave. Our Nivea. I recommend the R41 Mula. To anybody that wants a great razor, but you got to be careful with it. It's very, very important. Be careful. It's an open comb. That's the difference. And the feather blade in that thing, this thing is lethal. But it's great. You just got to take your time with it. Check it out. It'll be in the descriptions. 
And I want to show you guys a little tip I learned on YouTube a while back ago. And it works great. When your brushes all flur out and they look kind of odd, and you want to get them to form up again, just put a rubber band on them and let it dry like that. And before you know it, it'll be back to a nice, close, little uh, brush like that. And that's what I do with my brushes. Just leave them like that. Then when they're dry, I just take it off and they stay real nice and neat and clean. Okay, guys, I thank you guys very much for tuning in. Uh, we are 512 subscribers. How do you like that one, boys? 512. I was going to say 501. 512. Please subscribe. Uh, leave us a comment. Share your share the channel with someone else. Ring the bell. Do what you got to do. Uh, I know we're getting a little long here. It's 20 minutes already. 21 minutes almost. So you guys take care. Don't forget to see my other little channel I got. It's called Let's Talk America. And it comes on Sunday. And I'll put that on. I was, my first one was last Sunday. And it was, you know, I had a lot to learn. But anyways, that's another story for another day. You guys take care. God bless America. Alex, I'm out.